Tom and Jerry cartoons were a big part of my childhood. Seeing reruns of the shorts and movies on Cartoon Network and getting invested in the eternal comedic struggle of Cat and Mouse was just the best. When I saw that the duo were getting another shot at the big screen after the weird guilty pleasure of the first movie, I was pretty excited. What would make me less excited is learning that this movie was directed by Tim Story. He had directed the 2005 Fantastic Four movie, which was a more comedic take on Marvel's first family, but the problem is, it was a bad comedic take on Marvel's first family, which is concerning given that Tom and Jerry is a comedic property first and foremost. And now I'm here to present my conflicted thoughts on the 2021 Tom and Jerry movie. Tom and Jerry don't talk! Okay, Tom sings in one scene, but the duos are completely silent throughout the entire movie and express themselves through some really appealing animation that enhances the chaotic hijinks the two get into. I dare say that with Tom, Jerry, and other animated characters on screen doing their shtick of traps, chases, and slapstick, it's a fun movie that captures the spirit of Tom and Jerry. While the soundtrack is composed of a lot of licensed music, I think it's well chosen to fit the scene, but unfortunately that's where my compliments stop. Now these are great things, but I regret to inform you that Tom and Jerry are only half of this movie. The other half of this movie follows a young woman named Kayla, who is working at a hotel to help with a royal wedding, where there's no Tom and Jerry animated characters, and it's just human beings in an okay hotel wedding movie, if that's even a genre. The movie is called Tom and Jerry. I came here for Tom and Jerry, not my wacky hotel wedding featuring Tom and Jerry. Seriously, who's the Hollywood executive that thinks kids go to movies about cartoon characters to see regular people problems? I think the only time this works is in Space Jam, and that's because it's a crossover movie between sports players and Looney Tunes, and audiences have a connection to both of them. Not to mention, even if the Looney Tunes aren't around, Space Jam is still pretty funny, and there are some funny bits in the live action segments here, but those are sandwiched in between a lot of mediocre jokes. So, would I recommend the 2021 Tom and Jerry movie? I mean, there's some good stuff in it when Tom and Jerry are on screen, but as a whole, it's a mixed bag of a movie with some pretty funny stuff and some pretty unfunny stuff. If you really want your Tom and Jerry fix in the modern age, may I suggest the Tom and Jerry special shorts? These shorts were shadow dropped on HBO Max with no announcement, and they keep the classic spirit of Tom and Jerry alive without the need to bog it down of Hollywood tropes. If there's any benefit to watching this movie is that I have an HBO Max subscription now, so I can watch and review some of the upcoming releases from Warner Brothers. So, what's next, WB? We live in a society 